take their cricket very seriously here at the University of Exeter, where they're not actually playing cricket, they're virtually playing cricket. The team beat more than 200 other sides to win the honour of being immortalised on the official Ashes video game. The game itself is as um, a matter of technological standpoint, so even the improvements and spectacular and other features is going to be a lot more detailed than you've seen in the games before. It's a, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Today, each member of the team is being photographed and measured so that their virtual selves can be created. Today, with the company from down here, it's all very real. How many processes our pitch is being taken and put on the game. Um, yeah, it's been really exciting and good fun. The game will feature every current international side and the University of Exeter first 11. Anybody playing the game will be able to play as them or against them. So how do they feel about taking on, say, the Australian first team in a virtual competition? It's quite exciting to be able to play against you know, international players and uh, it'll be quite interesting to see me take on the Aussies. I'm not sure how well I'll do, but it's quite exciting. Yeah. It will be a bit odd. I uh, can't say I've had many beers on the video game appearances before. <laughs> I'm sure everyone else will have a good laugh like staring at me and trying to get me to do ridiculous things or whatever. Um, and I'm just trying to the game will be released in June, just ahead of the real Ashes competition, and the university's first 11 can't wait to pit themselves against the best players in the world. Andy Breer, BBC Spotlight, Exeter. Well, time now for a look at the weather, and David is here with all the details. David.